Hi folks, Debbie Ray here, the gardener wife. I'm out here in the kitchen garden where planting has gone very slowly this year. So we're already into the first week of June and I have not yet finished. But I'm gonna give you a, a short tour here just to show you my planting progress, how it's come along over the last few weeks. And I'm starting here at the back of the garden. Uh, these last four beds or so are where I started with cool crop direct sown seeds and uh, winter sown seedlings. So I have watermelon radishes coming up here. And over here I planted winter sown leeks. And then more recently I sowed some seeds for beets between them. And I tried uh, thinning out and transplanting some of them a, a couple days ago. And it looks some more have popped up. Nothing is in this bed yet, this literal bed. <laughs> so uh, I'm still debating what I will put there. Probably I'll try nast nasturtiums this year. I do have uh, in the corners ornamental kale that I got the seedlings this time by winter sowing. So I didn't even have to pay the four for a dollar uh, price that I usually do. I put them in the corners of my um, vegetable beds and then by the fall when they're big and beautiful I often transplant them into fall containers. The other back bed here is what I call the broccoli bed but it started off with seedlings, winter sown seedlings of pak choy which are bolting. So I also have some direct sown pak choy on this side and on both sides of it some tender green mustard. And when I planted the, this pak choy, I'm, I'm going to pull it up now that it's bolting and uh, add some Swiss, Swiss chard seeds here on this side. I've recently planted Swiss chard along the middle, the soaker hose in the middle. And then earlier, the same time I planted the pak choy, I also planted more alliums here. Uh, sweet Spanish white onions on this side. And then the other rows here are bunching onions that are coming up. I love to interplant, obviously. The next two beds are the legume beds. So I started with the peas. I did not plant them as early as I would have liked, so I don't know how much of a harvest I will get this year. They do not like the hot weather that we've been having. And uh, I'm protecting them from the birds with that bird scare tape has been quite effective at keeping them from being shredded. I also start these beds with some direct sown seeds of other cool crops and those have come up quite nicely. Here's some butterhead lettuce. Old seeds that were here didn't come up. I do have self-sown these giant weedy looking things are borage plants. Oh here we got one that's starting to getting ready to bloom. And I leave the self-sown things like borage and dill and amaranth wherever I want them to stay. Pull up the ones that I don't want to grow to full height and size. Use those. So I direct sowed spinach here and arugula, self-sown amaranth and a lettuce blend here. So next, you can see Mrs. Green Beans is already up. So I will have to harvest and pull up some of the stuff around her, add bamboo poles to form her skirt, and plant some beans that will grow up those poles. I did get some beans planted on the other legume bed here. Added the bean towers my husband built, and I sowed uh, purple, pole beans on the back side here. They're coming up. And I sold, uh, I think it was Kentucky Wonder pole beans on this side. They are coming up. And then along the front edge where this soaker hose runs, I planted wax beans. And oh, there we go. There's a couple coming up. 
So none of these beds have the marigold seeds yet. I always uh, plant marigolds on the edges of the six veggie beds. So I still have to do that. And I also need to add the zinnias. So I will be pulling up this stuff on either side of Mrs. Green Beans and planting zinnias here for the cutting garden. They're delightful plants and they're great pollinators too. So it's always nice to be welcoming those pollinators for these other veggies. Then the front two beds this year are the tomato beds. And they're the most recently planted ones. I got the tomato seedlings in here with their tomato craters that keep the rain from splashing soil up onto the plants. I haven't put up the supports yet, the cages and things. In between the tomatoes, I did what I've been doing for the last several years, interplanting them with celery plants. I have done fewer tomatoes this year because instead of planting three more tomato plants down the middle of these beds, I did two rows, one on either side of this middle soaker hose of more wax beans. They're not up yet. But, and where you see the bamboo poles in the middle of these beds, that is where I have sowed some sunflower seeds. There we go, starting to come up. So I have uh, two in each of these tomato beds. And I have back here in the last two beds, I did two on this side and three in the broccoli bed. So it should look good. That's all the planting that I have actually done out here. Oh wait, I did um, when we uh, rebuilt the tomato beds, I dug up some self-sown lettuce and transplanted it over here to a few spots in the herb bed. That's doing well. And uh, I still have other things I need to add to the herb bed, but this is all stuff that came back on its own and it's doing great. So that's what I have planted so far in the kitchen garden. Still not done. And it is what it is. Thanks for watching.